getting some interference. Don't get too close to those things. Watch your step, man. Hello my geeky guys and gals, how are we doing today? Hope you're well, cause I'm alright. Kind of a change, you still doing good? I'm alright. A little bit different. But anyway, as you see right now, don't adjust your monitors, cause this is the actual display that you're actually seeing right now. It doesn't properly support 1080p resolution, then again I don't actually want to do it that high because text in this game it doesn't scale with the um, resolution so I actually had to keep this low just so the text could be read properly but anyway the reason why I decided to start doing this video was because of the recent release of Alien Isolation and I've personally got mixed views about it because um, it came about when I got a, a tweet on Twitter that PlayStation was doing a live stream on Twitch. So I had a look into it, watched it, and I watched the devs playing around with it. And I must say, the movement of the alien was very, very good. Really authentic, really down to how the movies portrayed the alien as well, back in the original Stromo movie days. But then there's other things that put me off it as well, because when I was watching the video, there was doing like... Um, objective and hide kind of thing which is similar to like how Slenderman is played you've got to go and do an objective and then you've got to go and hide from the creature go and do another objective hide from the creature and I really wasn't expecting that in an alien game and plus as well I saw this scene in in the live stream where the devs held, hid inside some kind of storage container and the alien came into view right in front of them. Now, in the Aliens film, the second one where, with, the, with the actual marines, the alien queen managed to find the little girl Newt hidden underneath the floorboards with a century thing of how the aliens view the world. Plus as well, in this game you'll get to see how aliens perceive the world as well. And with that in mind, it got me thinking, well, the alien should still see the player hidden inside the container and then go and kill them. But it, it didn't, it scarpered off somewhere. And even at the end of um, the alien film, Ripley managed to hide in the closet while trying to get on um, a space suit and the alien was just doing its own thing and it's it got more interested in her cat so I don't know I, just, I, I don't know how the aliens perceive so I've got mixed views on that I might get it when it goes on sale and its price reduces a little bit more and I'll probably do a video on it later on hang on a sec do my head in <clears throat> so I thought well the last time I actually played a good Aliens game is this one actually, Aliens vs Predator 2. Um, <clears throat> mainly because playing as the Predator as well, brilliant. It's all about how whether you can judge yourself, whether you can make a particular jump or not. And in the modern a Aliens vs Predator game, th that's just all being taken away from, from you as the player by Sega. So thank you very much for that. Much love. Because as plain as the Predator, if you c come across a ledge which you think that you can jump to, the game will tell you whether you can jump to it or not with a, this massive glowing icon. I didn't like that at all. I wasn't impressed. And then Colonial Marines came out, which mo turned out to be like an alien-themed Call of Duty. I mean, it, it did have some great effects to it, but the only scary part about that was in this, 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 this like sewer-like area and there was the blind aliens there but they responded to sound so they attacked if they thought you were right in front of them by the sound that you made that was the only scary part to that game everything else was frustrating especially when the humans in that game was more deadly to you as the player than the aliens were doesn't make sense anyway let's crack on with this one what I'm going to hopefully try and do is show all three missions for the first initial mission for both the marine the predator and the alien just in case you've never seen this before so we'll crack on with um, the marine one because I love this one 
And this was released back in 2001, and this, the story behind this one is roughly about 30 years since the shutdown of Fury 161. And that is the Verloc, not the Solarco. But <laughs> look at it, doesn't it look good for his graphics of its day? Brilliant. And it makes it look like the intro to the Aliens film, even though those two planets look exactly the same. I don't know, maybe they run out of memory or something. King. Don't you have work to do? Everybody's waiting on you. Yeah, Heck, don't expect you. Fucking hell. Nice Sorry, that is so you. loud. I'll remember who's asked to pull out of the fire. Yeah, so don't expect massively Duke, detailed graphics in this because this is a 13 year old game, ba bearing in mind, but this is, in my personal Commander view, on the deck? still the best. Get around and listen up. Six weeks ago, the Wayland Yutani Corporation lost contact with a research facility on LV-1201. We're here to find out why. I guess whose job it is to go find a out. Suicide mission. Hell, we're still short eight soldiers and our synthetic after that last drop. Half our equipment's out of commission. There's time pressure involved. We won the distance lottery. Skip the commentary and tell us what we're dealing with. The basic layout is two mm -hmm. heavily fortified installations. Primary operations. Xenomorph. It's a bug hunt. Sites are connected by a secure tunnel network. Johnson, flight plan. Not much to work with, sir. I vote for an airstrike, sir. <laughs> I'll miss that. She has got the worst voice acting not. ever. We're cleared for light and medium munitions, but no heavy stuff. That means no airstrikes and no Alice. Sorry, Harrison. We're supposed to evac survivors? Our orders are to put out fires, then dig in and wait for the six. Assuming we last that long. Beta section will remain here until the ground position is secure. One thing I do like about right, this game, Let's roll. graphically wise, is that in the armor, you can see that some of the guys, some of the USMC, they've personalized their armor. It's pretty good, is that nice little detail? This is probably, in my opinion, the last game prior to isolation where so much detail has gone into the game to make it look like the movie. I mean, even look at that, those are the bars with all the guys from the Aliens film pulled pull down to secure themselves from the dropship. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Yeah. My scene is terrible. Hold on, I just need a drink. Johnson, where the hell did you learn to fly? Pink. Flight school. The same place that taught me not to fly blind Flight in school. hurricane winds. What'll it take to get airborne? A landing beacon and wind shear data for a start. Plus the ship's a little beat up. Stabilizer's jammed. I could fix it, but it'll take me an hour or so. The antenna's fried, though. So much for calling down reinforcements. Once we control the complex... Sorry, but like I said, her voice is bad. Paul, red team, get the power online. White team, locate security control. Blackwell, you take Shugi and Harrison and make the First time I actually got this game. Up and the it, landing site um, clear and powered. Once you've done I can't that, remember what system... The beacon. You heard the man. Move um, it. You heard the man. What hardware I had in my system before. But this was really, really demanding on my system at the time, pretty much like what Windows XP was like on first release. Um, okay. Yeah, so you press your tab to bring up your objectives. Oh, my lamp. No! Lamp, that's it. Mind you, I'll need that anyway. And when I was playing the Predator first mission, if I was looking at the world in normal view, it'd run fine, no problem. But in an outdoor area like this, where you can see the sky box, if I switch the vision mode to something else with the Predator, it, it slowed down. It wasn't really good at all. Oh yeah, I've got to open it first. That's how you do it. I got movement. There we go. Right. There we go, my pulse rifle. Hold on. <coughs> oh, donut. And look at that. What a surprise. We get trapped in. What causes that? Dunno. Apparently that is ex explained in its expansion pack, Primal Hunt, which I don't have. But, yeah, well. 
Um, where? 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 Was that in there? Oh yeah, that was in there. They got a little motion tracker thing down there. Sounds so good. I can't remember where to go now. Was it in here? Oh, it was in there, yeah. Yeah, you're dead, fella. Ain't got no med packs for you. No. So in its lowest setting. Oh, I turn back. <laughs> oh dear. Hi. Anyone in there? Not anymore. Yeah, predator. Oh, uh, kidokes. That's a predator sound effect. Look at that. That really frightened me when I first played this game. Uh, was it this one? Stop clicking, Mr. Predator Dude. Yeah, this was the way. This is what I like. Sound effects, everything. The predator's up there shooting at me. Ow! It got me? That's a first. That's never happened to me before. Oh well. Ah, oh, cripes. I think I've got to start right from the beginning again. <laughs> oh yeah, this was back in the day before auto saves I gotta go through all again but luckily we can skip right um so yeah what I was saying is the sound effects is a lot better I think they were taken direct from the films I'm not too sure but this really immerses you into it and there was a what, one time before as well when I was crossing that bridge where the predator opened its shots but nothing exploded on the bridge so the two guys that you got saw killed they they were fine the truck never exploded the hose never appeared nothing happened so I just m managed to go on my merry way so see now this time if I can run Let's run. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. That's fine. I'm alright. So with that shenanigans over with, nothing over there. Let's crack on. Oh, it's locked. Oh. Did I have to go through here? Ah, oh, good old days of this map. Yeah, we did have to go through here. Look at the weird trees. Back. You okay over there, dude? Do you want a cup of tea? You know, a bit of night all? Maybe a handkerchief to clean up that bud. Huh? Bud? Blood even. Alright, never mind. Yeah, this is it. We've got to go up here. Ooh. Oh. Oh, he's running away. For, oh, fucking hell. He's coming towards me. Bada boom. Oh, man. I've got to brush off the cobwebs of my memories from when I first playing this game. And even for a 13 year, year old game, the textures are still quite good as well. I mean, even, there's even modern games where the textures don't look as good as that. I'm not talking about um, games that's intended to be intended to be pixelated. I'm talking about 
proper games that's supposed to have good high resolution textures but drop out still. Alright, that's not the best there, but going between rock and ground, but you know what I mean. And there's some more dead dudes hanging upside down, but they've not yet been. Oh, they have been skinned. Yep, yeah, been skinned. Hi! He's got a smile on his face. So it's hackity hack hack. The bumpy, and we're in. So that's that. As you can see, loading times are absolutely quick. And this is one really good thing as well. You can see that the motion detector can see something in just about 11 meters in front of me. And it's the crane that's moving, the, the hook. This is one actual motion tracker that does actually detect motion. So we've got to power up the aux generator, which is down here. Ah, oh, I remember what's coming up here. So go down here. There's a a proper bug there, that not an alien bug, an actual bug. That threw me first time. I wish that text message would go away. Hi bug! You're a big bug. Gabonky! <laughs> beep, 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 beep. This is a big ass tunnel, man. And there we go. A generator. So we'll clonk that back on. Now we're. Ooh! I didn't remember that, but oh well. Hey, I th F yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> the tubing just looks just like an alien head, kind of like the scene from Alien Three. Ouch! Whoopsie! Oh man, I can remember playing this for the first time. There was parts I was I was genuinely scared of going down. Um where do we go now? Activate the landing beacon. Is it th this one? Yes, yeah, this one. Uh, no, that's locked. Work report rules. Arrive five minutes before shift. Review work log on shift change. And then report specimen loss immediately. Ew. Special. Oh, hello. I lost a specimen. Last saw it in my handkerchief. Dirty boy. Oops. Oh, did that? Ah, I got some flares for that. Ah, the elevator is just like in Aliens. How cool is that? Up we go. Now, I do love my Aliens and and Predator films. The, the, the um, Alien vs Predator movie that first came out I wasn't too sure about it. I didn't like the new look Predator Thermal Vision because it didn't look like a proper Predator Thermal Vision. It was just... I don't know, just weird. I was glad to see that in the second Alien vs Predator film that they changed it they, they gave it a proper... Oh yeah, watch this. Watch him come down. Oh. 
Now that audio clipping wasn't something to do with the recording. It was the, the actual game engine back before proper ambient sounds the type of game engine where you had to see it to hear it. The only way you could do ambient sounds was putting ambient uh, was putting sound events within the area that the player was in so it would sound like something happening elsewhere. So yeah as I was saying I was glad that in AVP2 that the the change back to the original thermal vision for the Predator and it was good to see the Predalien as well. I don't know why I did that but oh well. So uh, yeah AVP films not bad the original Aliens and Predator films eventually though. So I like them a whole lot better the original Aliens and Predator games. So I was just checking if I pressed a button on my um, remote handset. Right, down with this marine level. You use it, don't shoot it. <laughs> Ignore me. That's this way. Go down here, that looks just like from the Aliens film. To administration from Wayland Burns. This morning the refrigerator and vitamin lounge seem to be warming everything inside rather than cooling. The stick of butter on the door is melting. I don't know if the door was ajar or if there was a malfunction, but be warned, even if your perishable food is now cold, it may be a health risk. So now they've grown legs and they're running rampant. Where do I go? I can't... Oh. Was it through here? Where did I go? I can't remember. Can't use that. Can't use that. Um, I can't remember where I went now. Is it this way? Oh! Yep, yeah, that's it. Let my light recharge for a bit. Junction of corridor 1C and 1D. All clear. Entry clear. Signs of gunfire though. Damage from explosives, probably frag grenades. I'm not seeing bodies. That looks so, that sounds just like the intro to the Aliens film. To administration from A. Eisenberg. I regret to inform you that I cannot approve Dr. Moriata's Moriati Moriata's transfer back to Gateway. Due to his extremely time sensitive research, he has elected to press on with his current duties. Health pack H I'm a hologram now. <laughs> It's just a boot. Hey, it's a boot! Yay! It's a boot! Oh dear. Oh, good. This is a nice looking area, ain't it? Hey, slow down there, Duke. Someone's been a bit gung ho with the old red paint there. Convict release form. Please fill in your reasons for releasing the aforementioned labourer. I can't believe I'm filling this. Fine. My reason is that Cheva, Kaplan, Pedleton, and Murray are missing. No, dead. If it isn't the bugs either, I'll keep telling the convicts that it isn't the damn bugs. But they're thick headed. They don't know we're running low on manpower. That will that we'll need them soon. Still, saviour, they're de facto leaders. I need to read better. Still, Saviour, their de facto leader, seems better. I've shown him the blade marks and the plasma burns. He says he understands what we're up against and why we're going to have to stick together. 
Blaney. Oh yeah, my battery ran out. Oh yeah, my battery ran out. Ooh, acid burn. To administration from A. Eisenberg. Please prepare, prepare, please prepare transportation for personnel up arriving on the next supply ship. We should be receiving an additional biologist, two neurologists, and a physicist. <laughs> My accent is terrible. We are all saddened at the loss of Dr. Moriarty. Morita, but we must move on as a team, and my accent has changed since my last memo. As such, I must prefer a minimum of, of salacious rumours, as they tend to unnecessarily excite and worry new personnel. Yeah, we don't drop down there, we drop onto this thing. Ooh. Ah, that music track. Even though I can still incite that fear of thinking that there's something going to be there. Which one's crouch? Is C? No. Ah, shift. Okay. Natasha, I'm sorry if I'd have heard sooner. You'd know I would have done something. I wanted to shoot him, but there were so few of us. The cons won't work with me, save... The cons won't work with me without saviour. So there it is. I flinched. At least I came when I did. Before it got too bad. Can you forgive me? Will it help if I tell you I can't sleep since then? It will be okay though. Between saviour and I, we'll all get foolish. Blaney. Nah, you won't. I thought there was a carton of fags then. It's milk. Uh, where do we go? Ah, oh, there it is. Plump down here. Okay. Turn the light off, let it um, recharge. Now, this game's not available on Steam. I had to buy this as, as a, um, an actual physical optical media disc. Now, back in the days as well, when they came on two CDs rather than a DVD. Ah, this is where there's going to be a little bit of action now, if I, if my memory serves me correct. Ah, yes. Here we go. It's going to come up from there. Yo! Alien bugs! You want a piece of this? Oh, it's damaged the door. Shit, I can't get out that way. You want a piece of this? Let's fuck you! Fuck you! Oh, you want some too? Fuck you! Uh, not that way. So go through here. And a follow. Oh, there's another one. Die, you stupid bugs! Yeah, they're following here. Oh! Shit! <laughs> I forgot about that. This... Oh, this mouse, man. I've got it on its lowest setting. I've got it on... It. Oh. No, no, no! Oh, it's alright. Ah, oh, there's Blaney, he died. Yeah, my game mouse, I've got it on its lowest setting. But man, I think some acceleration's involved because when I whip round, it whips out too quick.
I uh, know there's a hay alien hiding behind there. Just go bump. Bye. I'm not reading any more of those. There you are. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, you mother fudger! Ooh! <laughs> ah! This is bringing back some glorious memories. Yeah, just like the films, you really got to drill them. Hacking off a, an arm or a leg ain't gonna cut it. Oh, he launched at me! And I'm out of armor. Let's see if I can escape without having to save. Ah, ah that was fun. Well, obviously, I can't do the first mission of each species and all in one video because we're already getting on half an hour now. So it'll be three videos for the first mission of each species. That was fun. Where the hell did you come from? I told you I'd pull your ass out of the fire, Duke. Where's Hall? She's gone, Frosty. And Deckard's badly burned. They were everywhere. My motion tracker can read life signs, right? Sure. Listen, you heard Hall's briefing. These things are parasites. They need the hope. bugs, man. They'll want her alive. Hall's toast. Let's get the hell out of here. He's right, Frosty. She's gone, man. I'm not leaving without her. If our dad is right, they'll take her for incubation. That's their weakness. Not much of a weakness. I'll take what I can get. Your transmitter okay. Shot, but it looks like your camera feed is working. We'll be monitoring you from the APC. Good for you, fella. But I'm not going to do it from there now. So I'm going to save that. And we'll quit on that one. So... Now, clicking the um, little clickety thing on the other opposite side of the screen, I can't, I'm not sure which side I'm going to put it on. I think it's going to be that side or that side. I don't know. It's just going to be opposite from where I am. And so, click there for the first mission of the Predator. Bye bye for now. Ah.